I'm Sergio and our subject for this session is statistics and probability. So our source is this one, the DepEd self-learning module. So we will start with the first week lesson and that is about random variables and probability distribution. Are you ready? I know you are. So let's proceed. We will start with the key terms that will be useful in understanding the different concepts to be included in this lesson. So we will consider this situation. Suppose two coins are tossed and we are interested to determine the number of tails that will come out. Let us use capital letter T to represent the number of tails that will come out. Determine the values of the random variable T. So from this situation, we will define first random variable. It is a set of possible values from a random experiment. So given this situation, since random variable is represented by capital letters, so we have capital letter T here. And that is to represent the number of tails that will come out from tossing two coins. Another random variable can be discrete random variable and that is countable. So this situation or this given is an example of a discrete random variable. To compare, we also have continuous random variable. And this random variable can be measured. Another random event. I have mentioned this one. So this is the random experiment. So from this given, tossing two coins. It's an example of random event. Another sample, spa sample space. I have also mentioned this one. These are the set of possible values. So later, you will know that the number of tails from tossing two coins can be enumerated in here. And finally, we have probability distribution. So this distribution or this probability distribution includes values of a random variable and also the probability of occurrence. So later, all of this will be illustrated. We will continue with our discussion with considering again this situation, this given, and we will determine the values of the random variable T. And for our solution, we will consider first the sample space. Remember that the sample space is the set of possible values, okay? Meaning these are values. And for our answer, okay, we use capital letter S to denote sample space. And we will also, we will also use parentheses, okay? We have parentheses, the open and close, okay? And the, the elements are actually separated by comma, okay? And how did we arrive with this, okay? So, these values are actually from the two coins which are tossed, okay? For the first toss, we will expect head and tail okay if the outcome is a head for our second toss we can expect also head and tail and for for the outcome tail we can expect okay an outcome that is head or tail if we are going to to connect it okay our values would be head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. Okay? So just remember 
that the sample space will always depend on the given and you need to okay to enumerate the values and in here we have the two coins which are tossed okay we will proceed with another step to be considered you are going to count the number of tails in each outcome and assign this number to this outcome so for our outcome that is the sample space elements okay head 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 tail tail head tail 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 and the number of tails values of t just determine how many tails for each outcome for the head head there is zero head tail one tail head one tail tail two okay and finally for our conclusion okay the values of the random variable t number of tails in this experiment are zero one and two okay we will consider again the given situation but we will add another requirement that is construct probability distribution and histogram so for our okay solution of course we will consider again our previous output because we will also use okay similar scenario or situation and remember that i'm going to use also code switching for you to understand better okay my dis our discussion here my explanation okay it means magtatagalog ako paminsan-minsan to construct probability distribution okay we are going to make a table gagawa tayo ng table at sa ating first row okay depende sa tanong dahil number of tails ang hinahanap we had we will have capital letter T here okay ang ibig sabihin nito is the number of tails it is just represented by T and titingnan mo lang dahil 2 coins ito ang highest value natin dito is 2 that means meron tayong 2 tails here tapos 1 tail and then no tail and for our Second table, which will complete our second row, at, rather, that will complete our table, is the probability function. Okay? And for our probability function, we will have a probability here. Okay? Usually, a fraction. And for our numerator, balikan lang natin itong T here, meron daw tayong dalawang tails. Ilan yon? So, meron tayong isa lang. That's why one here. And then, over, ilan itong, ilan ang total possible of outcomes? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Meron tayong 4. That's why 1 over 4. And if our tail is 1, we have head, tail, and tail head that's why we have actually two here okay over four okay and why one half because if we are going to simplify two over four that's one half and if if we have no tail that's that's head head so we have one over four and this will be our probability distribution. And from here, we can construct our histogram. Of course, T here will be our input, the X. Okay. And then P of T is our output here, our Y. And we will just consider the values here. And then the corresponding probabilities. For our first value, okay, we will start with the lowest one. Okay, the zero here. So, 
how many okay how many how many tails okay zero tail so the probability is one over four okay and you will just shade this one meaning the frequency of having number of tails is actually one okay and then as we continue the same okay the same process for number one or for one tail we have two okay two values two specific outcomes and for our probability we have two over four and that is one half and you will you can also shade this one and finally for our last value that two tails we have one value only one frequency okay and the corresponding probability is still one over four okay same with zero tail and this is actually the histogram and this is a good example okay a good illustration we can be creative you can shade this one with different colors okay and we have answered or we have completed the requirement for this situation or for this given okay we will also have okay practice and that is okay we will perform from this let's try and the given is grace on wants to determine if the formula below describes a probability distribution solve the following okay the given is p of x that's the probability function is equal to x plus 1. By the way, x here is the random variable since it is a capital letter. Over 6 where x is equal to 0, 1, 2. If it is, find the following. Okay. These are also as. Going back in here, remember that to determine that this is really a probability distribution, if you will add this, it will sum up into 1. So, 1 fourth plus 1 half, it's, it is equal to 3 fourth plus 1 fourth is equal to 4 over 4. And that is equal, that is further equal to 1. Meaning, this is a correct example of probability distribution. Okay, we will proceed, go back here. Okay, we will solve. So, we will construct, okay, a probability distribution. Okay, we have x here. Okay, our random variable and then our function. Okay. And then, how many values? 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, you can have the ascending or descending order it's up to you so two one zero okay and if x is okay if x is two two plus one that is three over six okay three over six what is three over six that's one half Okay, we will fix it. Oh, ayan. Okay, one half. How about one? I substitute mo lang dito. One plus one, two over six. So ito, for my guide ka, ito is three of, oh, three over
3 over 6 ito. And then, if it's 1, 1 plus 1, so this is 2 over 6. And we will simplify this one. 2 divided by 2, 1 over 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay. And finally, if it's 0, okay, it's, it's very easy. That's 1 over 6. And if we will check, 2, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. So, this is equal to 6 over 6 and that is 1. Meaning, okay, meaning that this formula is a correct example of a probability distribution. So, given this one, you can construct your probability distribution like this. And we will also solve this one. We will use a different color. So, yellow also. Equals. Probability that the random variable is equal to 2. So, what is the probability? Um, this one. If it's 2, the corresponding probability is 1 half. Okay. 1 half. Okay. And next. Oh, next, this one. Um, X, the random variable is greater than or equal to 1. Meaning, by the way, I'm going to use different colors so that we will, we can differentiate it. Okay, from the yellow. Okay. So, x is greater than or equal to 1. Meaning, this one and this one. Okay. Greater than 1 kasama si 1. So, dito na lang tayo sa not simplified. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. And then over 6. Okay. We will change into... Pen. So, 5 over 6. Okay. And finally, we will use different color. Um, let's go back to yellow. Okay. And this is equal to x is less than or equal to 1. So, kasama si 1 and then Going down, so 1 pati 0. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 over 6. 3 over 6, okay, simplified, 1 half. Okay, 1 half. Okay, and we have answered all of the requirements. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. This is Sergio again, and see you again in our next session.